Well, you'd already won the Tour of Flanders. You have won Milan San Remo. Now you win Paris Roubaix. What, what does it mean? Paris Roubaix. Well, incredible uh, how we rode as a team today. And then Jasper finishing second. Matthew Van der yeah. It's not possible to do better than this. You talk about the team effort, but what about you? I mean, it's, a, it's another monument for you. Yeah, I think I had one of the best days uh, on the bike. I felt really strong and uh, I tried to do a couple of attacks already earlier, but it was really hard to drop the guys. And then on the last sector, uh, first was uh, Digi Cope with the crash. And then I had to close the gap to, to Wout and I think he had a flat tire then. And I found myself alone uh, in front and I just yeah, rode as hard as I could until the finish line. Did, yeah, did you, did you know, did, did you realize that uh, Wout had, had uh, punctured at that moment at that Carrefour de l'Arbre? Yeah, first not, but um, yeah, when I passed him, yeah, his pace was, was low and uh, yeah, I knew he had a problem, but I didn't know it was a flat tire. But um, yeah, for sure it's unfortunate because yeah, I think otherwise maybe we go with the two of us to the finish line, but um, yeah. It's uh, unfortunately sometimes part of the race and like I said before, you need a bit of luck and good legs and I had both today. You were uh, able to celebrate uh, alone for Milan San Rebo. You, uh, <laughs> you were able to celebrate again and have time to realize what was it like going around that uh, velodrome. Well, it's incredible. Um, yeah, it's hard to describe, but um, I think I do my best classic season ever and this was my last race and to finish it off like this, it's, uh, it's a dream. Yesterday you told us that uh, you hated Paris-Roubaix sometimes. What do you think about Paris-Roubaix today? <laughs> For sure, I love it today, but um, yeah. it's such a hard race again. Um, I think it's maybe the fastest edition again, I don't know, but um, it was from start to finish racing again and it's crazy uh, how fast it went. But like I said, I felt super strong and uh, I'm really glad to finish off the team, the teamwork of today. Mathieu, un mot en français uh, après Milan Sorimo, après le Tour des Flandres. Uh, Mathieu Van Der Poel, el ganador de esta Paris Roubaix 2023. Era una carrera de 256,6 kilómetros y mucho adoquín. Qué barbaridad, qué pelas se dieron estos ciclistas. Y aquí está el ganador, Matthew Van Der Poel, con 5 horas, 28 minutos y 41 segundos. Segundo lugar para su compañero. Atención, que el Alpecin hace el 1-2. Jasper Filinsen a 46 segundos. Tercer lugar para Wout Van Aer, que ya iba cuando atacó eh, Van Der Poel. Wout Van Aer le resistió el ataque, pero de, lamentablemente Van Aer tuvo un pinchazo. Y cuando le quisieron cambiar la llanta, ya Matthew ya había, ya había alcanzado una ventaja y no lo pudo alcanzar. Van a ver, no lo pudo alcanzar por ese pinchazo. O no hubiésemos tenido un remate, un final al sprint espectacular de estos dos ciclistas. Pero bueno, ahí está. Cuarto lugar para Matt Pedersen a 50 segundos. Quinto para Stefan Kuhn a 50 segundos. Sexto para Filippo Gana a 50 segundos. Y aquí está uno, ya este corredor ha ganado esta carrera de este grupo que está aquí adelante, que llegó adelante. Este fue el que la ganó, y, pero lamentablemente también tuvo una caída antes del final. Séptimo para Dejan Cole a 2.35 Octavo para Walsher a 3.31, 9 para Res a 3.35 y cerrando el top 10, Lapor a 4.11 segundos. Así que aquí tenemos el ganador de esta Paris Rubais 2023, Matthew Van Der Poel.